thing and how I've been dealing with them and the insensitivities of just me not like talking when y'all wanted me to talk and saying certain things. And I just felt like I owed my fans, I owed it to my fans and supporters of people who, when they look at me and they look at me as a role model, I owed it to those people as a person to just like give them some sort of transparency and some sort of accountability of certain things. I felt like, um, you know, for those who don't know, for the last three months of my life, I've been in this place where, you know, I've been bashed. I've been cut through just people every single day coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. And it's crazy because the whole thing about it is, is like when this whole uh, debacle or whatever you call it um, came about, the whole time it's like she knows what happened. I know what happened. And we know that what you're saying and what the alleged things and the alleged accusations of my name is are not true. It's falsified information. It's false information and it's not accurate information. I don't ever want to come off like I'm here to bash this girl or I'm here to talk down about this girl or ever be at a place where like I'm disrespecting her because to me as a person, she's still my friend. No matter what, even if she doesn't look at me like that, I look at her like she's still my friend. In, in the times that we were together or around each other, we've had nothing but joyous moments and good moments. So I, I'm not going to sit here and bash her. But at the same time, it's, it comes to a certain standpoint of me as a person where it's like, yo, do y'all want me to just sit here and just allow my name to be assassinated, my character to be assassinated, everything that I worked for to get here to just be assassinated for something that I did not do? Something that the events that are being said are, are not even accurate and accurately being portrayed to everybody. The narrative that's being created or being created to make me come off like I'm some monster is is now what I'm having to live through for three months straight of just people just coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. And it's like, yo, I'm not here to beg no sympathy from nobody. I've never been one of those people. I'm not a person that's sitting here like, yo, uh, 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 everybody feels sorry for me. Like, nah. Because at the end of the day, if I did what they're saying I did, then by all means, I would say the same exact thing about me. I say that nigga's a bitch ass nigga. He doesn't respect females. He's a fuck boy. And that nigga deserves no respect, period. I've never been a person that all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's, it's everybody all of a sudden like, yo, he he's this guy who uh, uh, doesn't protect black women. And he's this guy who... But it's like, he, he's this guy who doesn't care about black women. That's what the narrative is now switched into and certain things like that. And it's like, hold on, I need y'all to really back this up. When have I not showed out for black women? Every single one of my videos, the lead girl is black. From say it to love to, to now, like when, when have I not showed love to black women? I made, I made five chicks tapes about about black love, about a black relationship, about a ghetto relationship at that. Like, you feel me? Like, when did I become this person? Like, my favorite song on the last Chicks tape that I put out was Beauty in the Benz. And that was a record that, with Snoop Dogg, that I loved. And instead of me even being inside of the video, like, like really take me in for a second. Instead of me even being in the video, and this is before all this, instead of me being, being in the video, I made the video all about the empowerment of black women. There's nothing but different types of black women in the video, all shapes, sizes, colors, um, um, ages, that just shows the, the, the love in, in, in what I'm doing. And it's like all of a sudden, a narrative comes out with no factual evidence, and all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. And it's like, yo, I, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I understand, like, and I support the whole movement of, of protecting black women, but I want to speak on something. And sometimes, you know, I know I'm not always in the right place to speak on things, but this is something that I went through. And so I feel like I'm able to speak on it. I am all for protecting black women. That is something that is the most, one of the most important things that needs to be taken serious and awareness needs to be brought to. And regardless, if this debacle, regardless of what you guys think happened, if this situation caused you guys to pay more attention and more awareness to protecting black women, then I'm fine that I had to be dragged through the dirt for that. But I want y'all to understand something. It's a problem when it becomes that black uh, protecting black women doesn't mean to protect black men. That, that doesn't make sense. From the beginning of time, when you really think about how this works, like from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage and, and from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage. White man and white woman, white girl and white man. I mean, Spanish man, Spanish woman, Indian man, Indian woman. 
when you guys start making it like a put black men down and protect the black women, I'm not saying you guys, I don't mean to make it like, oh, you're attacking, but when we as a whole make it protecting black women means putting black putting down black men, then it comes to a point where it's like, okay, well, who's going to protect black women? Who is supposed to be protecting black women? It has to be black men. It's not the white man. It's not the Spanish man. It's not the man who, it's, it's not none of those. It's not the Chinese man. It's not none of those men. It's, it, it is, who is, who is, it's black men. It's black men. And I'm not saying that black men aren't the people who, in, in, in times who, aren't the people who uh, inflict certain issues and, and mental issues and certain things that girls go through. Like, black men are, are, are very much the cause of a lot of things that, 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 that women go through because of, at the end of the day, like the way we were raised, certain standpoints, maybe we didn't have a parent around, some things, some, some, some things were just not here to, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like, you gotta remember at the standpoint, if, if, if the man is supposed to be, and I say this loosely, cause I don't want anybody to take this out of context. If the man is supposed to be the, the head and a woman is supposed to be the neck, y'all gotta think about this. In order for the head to move, in order for the head to move left, right, whatever it is doing, it needs the guidance of the neck. It needs the guidance of the woman. It, in order for me to smell and use my five senses on my face, for me to lean in or whatever the case is, I still need to. I still need to use the neck. I still need to be guided by a woman. So regardless, it's like I don't feel like I should be torn down. If anything, before y'all know the story, like learn the story first, learn the factual parts of the story first, and then come at me and be like, "Yo, you need to fix this and fix that." If that's what you feel like I did, but instead I'm being torn down for a narrative that's like now I'm the poster boy for it. I don't like black women. But anyways, let's get into this. I want to get into this because it's very important for me to just say this. I'm not here to bash this woman. I'm not here to come down on this woman. I'm not here to disrespect her or throw her under the bus. But it comes to a certain standpoint where I just can't let my character be assassinated for things that are not even really true. Like, and, and for falsified narratives and information. Let's start this off. When the original original uh a report came out and it was a tmz report about this that and the third and there was gunshots in kylie jenner's house and tory lanes goes to jail they gave you all, all the facts of the juice of tory lanes going to jail and this that and the third and megan getting arrested and da 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 two days after that i get a call from rock nation that says yo we heard you're gonna make a statement about what happened and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement so i'm like Oh, okay, I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans, like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever it is. It's like, I don't get, I didn't get for that two days why that was an is, uh, or issue. Two days later, TMZ report come out. TMZ reports and have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest. You see Megan, you see me, and you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in, in bathing suits and, and blah, blah, blah. And everything I'm saying is, is public record. You can go back and look at this shit. You can go back and and see it, like, you feel me? So they say, oh, okay, you know, um, the, the, you see her out of the car, she's getting out of the car, she's hopping, it looks bad, bro, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I felt bad watching it because it made her look bad, and it didn't make her look good, it didn't make any of us look good, and I didn't want that for her, I don't see that for anybody. So all of a sudden, when we get arrested, or when it looks like we all got arrested, the memes start. Now I wanna really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something, and I really just want you to take this in, like, she is a person I spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her where it's like she's going through a lot. She goes through a lot. She deals with a lot on her day-to-day -day basis. And because of that, she's not used to, you know, and not even just because of that, but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much. We've always looked at her as like, yo, that's, that's hip-hop sweetheart. Like, she's, she's nice. She's talented. Whatever the case is, cool. And because of that, like we've 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 never seen a moment where the memes have come at her, where the memes are like, "Yo, nigga, let's laugh at your pain." Ah, ha, 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 ha. She's never had to deal with that because she's always been praised. So everything that's been happening has been a reaction off of what's been going on. So it gets down to this point now where it's like, now the 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 the, the reports are starting to say, "Okay, well, everyone's pointing to different things. No one really." No one really knows.